Heads up, State Department. July 1, 2019 by Anna Vaughn writes. We aren't dead, just sleeping. When you say that you issue passports for U.S. citizens and non-citizen U.S. nationals, you need to be clear about which United States you are referencing. One, two, all three. We have a problem here, Houston. We have millions of actual Americans who are either citizens or nationals of the United States, but based on your verbiage, you are only issuing passports for territorial United States citizens and non-citizen territorial United States nationals. If that's true, then we need to come to an agreement regarding the political status and processing of passports for actual Americans, who are only temporarily under the custodianship of the Queen while engaged in travel on the high seas and navigable inland waterways. We do not care to be misidentified as permanent residents of the insular states. Please reply at your earliest convenience. We are protected persons under international law and we are not receiving the right passports. We can, of course, provide passports of our own, but need to be told in a forthright manner that you are not providing passports for Americans before we do so, and some agreement and recognition of the problem must be reached between the Queen's government and our own lawful government of the United States. We do not wish to cause any undue confusion or administrative dilemma, but there does need to be provision for the service and for a means to distinguish between British territorial citizens and Americans. Thank you, very much.